Did you buy a new Windows 11 PC or upgrade your existing computer to Microsoft's latest operating system? For most people running the newest high-end hardware, this latest flavor of Windows should be fast and responsive. And there will be more performance coming as this new operating system gets tweaked and refined by the development team. If you're upgrading an older PC or used a workaround video to install it on unsupported hardware, link around here somewhere, your system might feel a little sluggish. Here are five quick things you can try to give things a boost. And the best part is, if you don't like it, you can just change it back. Let's go. When was the last time you ran Windows Update? The number one thing you can do to increase performance of any Windows 11 machine is to keep it updated. Hit the Windows key, type check for updates, and hit enter. Click the big button to check for updates. And if you notice any new updates available, make sure you grab them right away. Now, some of these updates will install without issue, while others may require a complete restart. And sometimes these updates might take a while, so grab a snack or binge watch a couple of your favorite episodes while you wait. Windows 11 will also automatically download these updates and run them during non-active hours of the day. But if you always shut down your machine or put it to sleep at the end of the day, the OS won't have a chance to run them. So periodically running the updates manually will ensure you get the latest optimizations and tweaks for the best possible performance. How many apps do you think are loading up when Windows 11 starts? There might be way too many apps trying to start up simultaneously, slowing down your load time. Here's how to take control of that. Hit the Windows key, type Startup Apps, and click that option. In here, you'll see all the apps that are all trying to start up simultaneously. You can sort them by their impact to show you the worst offenders. Go down the list and start switching things off. I'd recommend leaving things like your antivirus, Google Drive, and OneDrive running. That way, you don't affect the backups or system security. You'll want to keep anything that helps out with your hardware, like your graphics adapter, audio, and network. I use Grammarly all the time, so I will keep that running too. You might not even notice that something is turned off in most cases other than Windows is loading faster. If something needs to start, you might see an error pop up referencing it. Just use the steps above to locate it and turn that back on. Animations and transparent menus can look great, but at what cost to system performance? Windows 11 takes advantage of a lot of these things to give this OS its signature look. But if you don't think you'll miss them, here's how to turn them off for a snappier interface. Hit the Windows key and type Visual Effects. Click on it and you'll be brought to a screen where the top three options have toggles. Turn them off, then exit by hitting the X on the top right corner. You should discover windows and apps snapping open a little more quickly. It'll just feel more responsive. But if there isn't enough of a difference or you miss them, you can reverse all the steps to bring them all back. Did you know that there's a setting that might be holding back the performance of Windows 11? Out of the box, the operating system is tuned for a mix of performance and efficiency. Here's how you can turn the performance up to 11. Go to the system tray and right click on the power plug or the battery. Click power and sleep settings. Scroll down and under power, choose the best performance option in the dropdown on the right. Now your system will prioritize the best possible performance over the power efficiency. This is the setting I leave my desktop on all the time. Now, Keep in mind, if you're on a laptop, this setting may hurt your battery life. So if you value battery life over raw performance, you can choose the option best power efficiency to squeeze more runtime out of your system. The best part is if you change your mind, you can always go back to balanced mode and let Windows 11 automatically optimize as needed. Want to keep your drive tidy and performance up? Windows 11 constantly optimizes in the background but it can leave a bunch of files on the hard drive, slowing things down. Here's what you can do about it. Hit the Windows key and start typing Storage Sense. Click on Turn on Storage Sense, and it'll bring you to a screen with a bunch of helpful information about how much storage is left on your system and where most of the storage is being used. You'll want to scroll down and toggle the Storage Sense setting. Then click the arrow beside the toggle to access some additional settings. The default is to run Storage Sense when disk space is low, but if you want performance, I recommend you set it to run at least once a week. If you want to run it at will, you can scroll all the way to the bottom 
and run storage stands right now if you want. Not only will it regain some extra storage space for you automatically, but Windows 11 also doesn't have to index all those extra files. You should see a little bit more performance. The best part is if you don't like what it's doing, you can customize what it does in the options or turn it off completely. Now those are my quick go-to settings when I'm looking to squeeze just a little bit more performance out of a system on Windows 11. And these have made a difference on some of the machines that we've already upgraded to this new OS. Combining these non-destructive and easily reversible changes has really given my original Microsoft Surface Pro new life. And this machine was never meant to have Windows 11. So what are some of the things you tweaked on Windows 11? Please drop us a comment below so we can all learn something new together. And you really make my day when you check out our videos. If you aren't a part of our notification squad yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so we can meet again. And while you're waiting for that next video, I think you might like this video. And this one's pretty good too.